Room, Zubin Mahenti in the Sports Center studios after the game. All the key moments, post game reaction from both locker rooms. Tim Legler here to take you inside and break down the biggest moments from game four and what could be the biggest win in Denver Nuggets franchise history. Should be quite the remainder of the fourth. Mike, we'll see you as soon as you're done. All right, Kristen Thompson, not a second, not a game in a regular season. Here he is in an elimination game in the Western Conference Final. And this is why, look confusion between James and D'Angelo Russell. He stops the penetration and closes. And then in transition, the hard screen to open up D'Angelo Russell, who we everybody's talked about his plus minus being such a big negative. Tonight, he's a plus 10 when he's on the floor. Already Jokic tops it on him. Nice feed inside to Brown, and Brown somehow finds a way so good at finishing around the rim. Another tremendous feed from Joker. His 12th assist mark. Still early here in the fourth. Thompson sets another screen. Russell throws it out of bounds. The last touch by the Lakers. Look in traffic. Forcing two guys to defend him. Drops it off to Brown. That's what the great ones do. They put their teammates in position to knock down shots. Into the hands of their seven-foot point guard. Now back up top to Murray. Jokic fighting through screens. Mishandled it momentarily. Now back Murray. Murray inside pass to Brown, and Brown is fouled. Brown's so good at moving without the ball and finding the open spots. You know what they're running, Coach. Double screen for the center position. It's truly unique. His skill, his willingness to move with pace, and his feel coming off screens. Brown, a quiet night statistically. Four points, two rebounds. Upcoming playoff schedule tomorrow on TNT. Game four for Miami. Heat trying to sweep the Celtics after Boston beaten badly in game three. Tip off shortly after 8.30. Austin Reeves, Dennis Schroeder back in the game. Brown with another free throw. Bruce Brown, the great pickup this year for the Denver Nuggets. One of 11 kids growing up in Massachusetts. He has been the perfect fit for this team. And again, his ability to move without the ball, is, it's perfect for Nikola Jokic. Four-point lead for Denver. Jokic looks to pick up James Schroeder. Up top, Hachimura. Back to Schroeder, mishandled it. Poked out of bounds by Jeff Green. Still Laker ball, three to shoot. Again, I believe... LeBron James playing behind the three-point line versus closer to the basket and getting things near the paint. It's the way they've got to go. They had so much success in the first half. It's hard to believe why not continuing to do that as, as Reeves draws yet another foul, as you guys were talking about. Reeves so good at that. What's befuddling to me, too, is why James doesn't get to it on his own more. He obviously doesn't love it, as you see Reeves, again, drawing another foul there. Four fouls on Brown. Tristan Thompson gets a nice ovation as he sits down. Davis back in. Schroeder goes to Jeff Green. Quick shot is good. Crafty move there from Dennis Schroeder. And it's back to two. And that's going to be key in pick and roll situations. Those guys handling the basketball. Got to attack and look to get downhill. And Anthony Davis on Jokic now, not Hachimura. Murray pulls up. Oh, nice soft touch. The one-handed push shot from Jamal Murray. We talked about the ability to defend the Joker and Murray in the two-man game, closing out this game. Davis answers. Just his fourth field goal, but a big one, and it's back to two again. Murray and Jokic have combined 55 points. Six to shoot. Three on the 24. Jokic fakes, drives, goes into Schroeder. Shot blocked by Davis. And a 24-second violation. Third 
block of the game for Anthony Davis. But that's championship effort right there by Davis. He's got to close out the ball game with this type of energy and effort. Get back into the picture. Don't give up on play. He has led the NBA playoffs.